good evening everybody today is our virtual technology upgrading meeting topic is supply chain management and blockchain's value proposition in oil and gas industry this is gopinath from department of mechanical engineering uh, what we are going to do today what are the topics we are going to cover today is the scenario of oil and gas industry implementation of supply chain management in oil and gas industry objective and scope method methodology to be adopted expected outcome of supply chain management then finally we will be discussing about blockchain's value proposition in oil and gas industry <coughs> uh, first we will be discussing about the the present scenario of indian indian oil and gas industry india is the fifth largest consumer of crude oil in the world india was the third largest crude oil importer in the world in 2018 the country spends an estimated rupees 8.8 lakh crores that is 120 billion dollars to import 228.6 million tons of crude oil in the year 2018-19 it constitute about 32% of india's import a huge import bill the size of indian oil industry is estimated at at about 110 billion us dollars that is the 15% of indian gdp india has the seventh largest refining capacity that is 2.56 million barrels per day approximately 3% of the world capacity india has only 5 0.5% of world's oil and gas resources oil consumption is growing at the rate of 4.1% annually there has been only 1% rise in the production over the last one year with the vast population and limited energy resources in india is highly energy hungry when you see the statistics the oil the demand of oil and production starting from the year 2001 to 2020 around 2025 you can see that the demand has raised from the demand has been doubled from 32 million metric ton to 61 million metric ton but the, the demand is not sorry the production is from 32 to 61 million metric ton but the demand if you see that the demand is three times more therefore it will be around 368 million metric tons therefore there is a large gap between the demand and the production in india <coughs> then similarly if you see the gas here also you can see that the production is from 81 million standard cubic meters per day to now around 170 million standard cubic meters per day but the demand is there is a steep rise in the demand even for the gas also it is around 391 million standard cubic meters per day therefore we can understand that the demand of oil and gas has far outstripped the production this gap poses a serious problem long term measures is mandatory but how how we can face the challenge for that we need an agile robust value adding supply chain management for oil and gas sectors see when you see here the oil and gas supply chain there are three streams of that one is an upstream which involves exploration and production the second one is a midstream it involves the processing of crude oil and the transportation the fourth one is downstream that is refining and marketing see if you see the oil and gas supply chain see you can see that the supply planning the crude purchase the crude transportation the crude storage then refining then as a product it has to be transported and distributed therefore the top one is a supply planning the bottom one is distribution planning therefore product transport distribution marketing the product store product storage and then finally retailing therefore as we have discussed the upstream sector is exploration production and the production facility the exploration the industries which are involved in explorations are basically seismic geophysical and geo geological industries the production is basically drilling 
and production facility is reservoirs storage the midstream it deals with deals with gathering information and planning for distribution network for refinery and chemical plant then downstream is basically it's more basically for refineries and also for marketing see then what is the oil and gas supply chain the general objective of supply chain is to maximization of manufacturing capacity and sales meet market demand respond quickly to market opportunity by purchasing during the production fall by purchasing from other players maximization of profit for oil and gas sector minimization of sales price to the customer avoiding non value activities this should be the main objective of a supply chain management then what is the supply chain management strategy should be first when you talk when you dis, when you talk about planning how much to make and how much to buy then what to make and where to make and how to transport this is a planning strategy for supply chain regarding the scheduling when and what orders feed stock should be should arrive at a manufacturing facility when and what sequence to run the equipment which order to meet and what from what to promise the issues see okay these are all the objectives whenever there is there is an objective that there will be some constraints will be there therefore these constraints we have to take into control into consideration that is issues in oil and gas supply chain one is the limited choice of raw material suppliers this is a basically a seller market with respect to supply of raw material basically the supply of supply of oil and gas is a seller market next one fluctuating raw material price even daily basis this is one of the uh, big thing in a uh, what's the thing in a oil and gas industry the crude oil price and petroleum price are asymmetrical what i mean by asymmetrical you know you could have seen that um, normally the price of the crude oil will increase whenever the demand is more or uh, but what happens but still when the demand is coming down the price is not coming down that means this is the this is the one issues with the crude and crude oil prices that is always an asymmetrical one then integration of suppliers distributors and customer is also a very difficult one then holding of huge inventory because it, it it involves a lot of money and it also involves safety reasons then supply chain is also very long the objective and scope the oil the oil and gas industry in india involves both public sector enterprise and private sector enterprise but that objective is slightly different a government objective is not just maximization of profit but also welfare of the society and economic development of the country a private sector objective is to maximize the profit the proposed model should balance both objectives our proposed model aim at maximum maximum satisfaction of the respective customer by providing the right product in the right condition and the right time and at the right cost then minimum utilization of our limited resources methodology to be adopted the majority of the crude oil and gas are imported we have to construct a global supply chain that can withstand various international pressures we have to develop an supply chain management which which can establish operationally feasible links between various key components of supply chain we want to evaluate the use of various quantitative and heuristic methods and to embed these models in a decision support system to minimize the cost of production for the smooth flow of transportation and better distribution we have planned to use the multiple objective linear programming model molp and a linear goal programming through heuristic approach by considering the various factors like automation it innovation distribution network pricing policy national and regional demand policies etc <clears throat> the outcome of model to be developed for seen and atmosphere the ultimate customer satisfaction where the petroleum and its products should reach the customers at every level at right condition we mean quality at right time even during situations like cross border tensions and natural calamities and at the least cost the healthy business growth of oil and gas 
sector and sustainable development of country's economy. Okay. When we are talking in one side, we discussed about the supply chain management of oil and gas industry. But let us go into the new technology that is called blockchain's value proposition in the oil and gas industry. Why I have incorporated this thing is because the current pandemic is forcing companies to evaluate how they operate. With a global lockdown and disrupted supply chains, the business around the world are now left to embrace a new wave of digital transformation, one that encourages organizational and workplace interventions with the blockchain as a core comp complement. When you see here, there is so much difference. If you see that even in blockchain, this thing you can see that it is also having the same type. One is the upstream, another one is the midstream, and third one is downstream. But how the blockchain works in upstream, downstream, midstream, that we are going to see here. Regarding the blockchain in upstream, in the upstream section, blockchain proposes a good alternative during the early phases of exploration and extraction. A solution caters to all parties involved, including the survey companies, miners and equipment suppliers, as all of whom have to contribute efficiently for the process to be successful. For instance, blockchain can serve as a transparent bridge in performance contract evaluation and reconciliation based on its P2P features. The integration might effectively change the management in the upstream segment. Regarding the mainstream, as for the midstream division, the technology is set to improve tracking of oil and gas in transportation. The use of IoT sensors by blockchain innovators could help oil and gas companies with the pipeline oversight. A business can use the technology to better manage all their subcontractors more effectively. In addition, the distributed digital records are observed to increase the accountability and the transparency, which automatically reduces the need for human intervention without compromising on security and productivity. And the last one is the blockchain in downstream. The downstream sector is the end of the value chain. This is where all the refining of commodities and distribution takes place. All lead to the distribution of various end products to terminals, trucking and gas stations. Consumer facing businesses at this end of the chain stand to benefit from supply chain management, improved transparency, quicker payment and financial reconciliation. In the foreseeable future, major firms like BP and Shell are, consi are considering issuing token based rewards on a blockchain platform. Customers will be interacting with the blockchain in regards to manage mileage point. Furthermore, product authentication, performance evaluation and reconciliation within this segment are also good prospect of blockchain management. Thank you very much. Thank you.